Hey everyone, we're here today with our selection of DJ of the Month. It's an ongoing award which we've been awarding to DJs for quite some time now, but this is our first attempt at a video interview. So we're here today with uh, February's DJ of the Month, Max Friedman. Okay. And he's been a DJ here for about two years now. And yeah, let's get started on this interview. What made you want to become a DJ at 90.3 The Core? The summer before my freshman year, I was at my freshman orientation, and 90.2 Decor was tabling. It was kind of cool because they had a bunch of like old CDs for free, and I figured I'd look at them. And at the time, I didn't know any of the artists, but Sarah Morrison, the uh, former public affairs director, was behind the table. And I talked to her, and she was really cool, and then later on, she interviewed me on her show. She actually called me Matt, she didn't know my name. And she recruited me pretty much, and it was awesome because I went through training and everything, and it was super fun. So, I'm glad for that. Wonderful. Uh, how did you come up with your show name and your DJ name? Uh, my show name is Indie Killed the Radio Star. That just comes from the Bangles video Killed the Radio Star being the first video played on MTV. And as for my DJ name, it was formerly DJ Sheldon. That was Lauren Stern, former rock director's idea. She thinks I look like Sheldon, which I do, which is bad because I don't like Big Bang Theory. But So I went with DJ Sheldon, and after that I decided to pay tribute to a show I actually like with the name Mr. F. That would be an interesting development reference. Mm. Alright, uh, I know you used to have your own show, but now you've developed a co-host. How has it been adjusting to that? It's been very different. We have a shorter time, and also my co-host is a good friend of mine. It's been nice to watch him go from like not really knowing what he's doing to be very fluent with everything, which he's gotten to now over just like six shows, which is pretty fast. I don't think I was that fluent at that point, really. Okay. And what kind of music can listeners expect when tuning into your show? Yeah, this is an easy one to answer. We play a lot of artists in the current indie scene, for lack of a better word, but specifically... We prefer uh, St. Vincent, Bad for Lashes, Youth Lagoon, LCD Sound System, Tame Impala. A couple other bands probably could pop up in there, but those are the ones we'd be most likely to play these days. Alright, and this is a question I like to ask all DJs. Mm -hmm. uh, who is your favorite musical artist of all time? I'm tempted to say St. Vincent always, but I mean, there's always a couple of other artists that like are creeping up on her. The Strokes' old albums really always do it for me. Bjork's stuff is really great. Tame Impala is an amazing band, and LCD Sound System, like... Gives me emotions like no other, honestly. Wonderful. Go all great choices. And finally, uh, I know running radio shows is a lot of work, but I'm sure it's a lot of fun as oh, well. Yes. Uh -huh. I just want to ask, what's your favorite part about being a DJ? Oh, that's such a hard question. <laughs> um, I really like being able to get in the air and have listeners. It's nice to have people listening to me, and I can tell them, like, this is music that I enjoy. Maybe you'll enjoy it too, because I know there are parts of my audience that may not know some of the music. And it's really nice to be able to deliver it to them and have this bond with them. Like, hey, I like this music and so do you. We can talk about it and we can discuss music. I think music's like my favorite thing to talk about. So really that's yeah. what I'm trying to say. That's kind of hard to articulate. Definitely. All right, thanks a lot, Max. Mm -hmm. uh, Thank you. Max Friedman, DJ of the Month. Tune into his show, Indie Kill the Radio Star, Wednesdays from 4 to 5 p.m. Mondays, so close. Mm -hmm. That's my old time. That's fine. That's fine. Doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs>